Peace and blessings, family. It's me, a come for a full so while. <clears throat> and I'm coming to you after a brief break. Um, I took a few days to spend time with my family. Um, and it was much needed relaxation and a time of not being at my office and having just time to think and meditate and be home with my husband and my family. And it was good. I prayed that yours was good. <clears throat> So, excuse me, I want to just kind of talk a little bit about um, that time of being together and um, just a reminder of how each and every moment of our life is special and how we have to be cognizant of that and not take anything for granted, not um, allow our ego to make us think, oh, you know, this is this is average or this is. A, um, a standard occurrence. It's not. Everything is unique. Everything is special. Nothing is by accident. Nothing is by chance. Everything that happens is for a reason. Every person that has ever crossed your path has been sent into your life for a reason. Everything that has ever happened in your life happened for a reason. Now, of course, we may not understand all of that and we may not always have understood while it was happening what was happening. But know that everything that has ever happened is designed. It's a divine creation or it is intended to be as such. There are no accidents. Um, the, what we need to do or the thing that we can do is to try to figure out, you know, what lessons did I get out of that or um, what revelations did I have because of those things that happened to me or when those things did happen to me, where did it take me? How much closer to create the creator? How much closer to divine source did I get after this event and after this occurrence? And to see, you know, not necessarily judge things because that's another thing that we do often. We always judge and it's either right, wrong, bad, good, off, on. You know, we're always judging and making decisions or judgments about things. Um, who knows? It could have been, it could have appeared to be a negative or untoward situation, but it was for your good. I can give one example. Um, I've been employed at my job for over 12 years in my current job. And I had been in a particular position in a particular department, a particular office for 11, almost 11 years. I think I've spent almost one year out of that office or department. But at any rate, long story short, I thought it was the worst thing ever that could have ever, ever, ever happened to me. I felt <laughs> this is all me now because I am totally 100% responsible for my experience. So in that transition time, I felt unappreciated. <laughs> I felt like, you know, all my hard work and all the good things I felt that I had done or the things I felt that I had done were a con contribution to the department were useless or worth nothing, my time and my effort. And so I thought it was a very untoward time in my life, which it turned out to be, no, it was one of the best things that could have ever happened to me by me moving to a new place and a new office and a new job. It just opened up doors for me when I began. That happened at the end of 2017. As I began 2018, um, I began 2018 with a different perspective on life, with a different perspective on my destiny, with a different perspective on what I was going to do and what I was going to be focused on. And it has been, like I said, one of the best things that have, have as ever happened to me. Although I thought at the time it was a negative or untoward experience, it wasn't. So that's why we can't put a label on things. We can't judge, th gu judge things. Good, bad, who knows? Only the creator knows everything and how your entire life is going to pan out and how, you know, these different occurrences of things that have happened to you may see as a untoward or a time when you didn't necessarily think the experience was positive, but everything is working for your good. Everything is working to put you at the next place that you belong in your path and on your destiny. So I'm just wanted to remind everybody um, over my time, over these few days we had off from work, it just reminded me that everything that happens in your life is orchestrated by the creator. Everything is divine intervention. Nothing is accidental. So I now see things differently. I see each day as an opportunity to just face 
what the universe brings to me because I know it has to be working for my good. My mind and my ego mind may not understand why it's happening or what is happening, but I have to believe and I know deep within that it is all working for my good. So I'm not... Um, I'm not going to say I'm not because I'm still working through this process, but I'm saying that I deliberately or intentionally try to focus every day on just receiving whatever the creator has in store for me, setting my intentions and looking for those positive intentions to come forward in my day-to-day interactions. I am um, embracing everything. I am embracing each day, each adventure, each lesson. It's tough. Um, Because in my mastermind group, we're in an area now that is very rocky, (laughs) but I embrace that opportunity to see myself different. I embrace that opportunity to move closer to where I'm supposed to be on my path and to, to grow and to be the person that I'm supposed to be or to put my ego to rest so that I can manifest and be the person that I'm supposed to be. So I hope you all had a wonderful time with your family over these past few days. I sure did. I used that time to meditate and to be with my husband and to just be quiet. We didn't even watch a lot of TV. We played games. We talked. We listened to music. I mean, it was a really really good bonding experience. So I want to remind everybody um, to try to create a sacred space for you and for you to grow in and also to be mindful that each and every interaction in your life is by purpose and by design so don't consider it negative or positive it just is Um, know that it just is and that all things are working for your good have a good evening it's me a come for a full so why i ask you to like if you like what i'm uh, my messages or my divine downloads or if you think they should are helpful to see you or someone else, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you know if I go live and when I upload videos. And visit us on our Facebook fan page, in Swarma Services, as well as YouTube and Instagram, in Swarma Services. I am a comfort of Fua Sawa, and I bid you namaste. The God in me sees the God in you. Have a good evening. Peace.